Good morning, everyone. Welcome to MCA's Coffee on Campus. I'm Tucker Burquest. And I'm Josh Eland. We want to thank you for tuning in today. We hope you enjoy. We would like to start the show today by first congratulating all those who were chosen as homecoming candidates for the 2016-2017 school year. We wish everyone the best as homecoming quickly approaches. We would also like to congratulate Cherry Spakowski, who has committed to Biola University. We are so excited for you. And seniors, don't forget, once you've made your college commitment, you will be allowed to sport your college wear just as you would MCA spirit wear. Cookies, lemonade, and the Bible. Doesn't that sound like something you are interested in? If so, you can join Isaiah Hobus and Tommy Satzer in the library during lunch in advisory for Bible study. They will be reading John 3, and anyone is welcome. You don't want to miss it. We also want to remind you that the Christmas Arts Cafe will take place next week on Wednesday in the atrium from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. Make sure to come out and watch all the amazing performances. Well, the annual Progressive Dinner was this past weekend, and it sure was a great time. A lot of good laughs, as well as some good food, were shared by many. But rather than listen to me ravel on about it, let's take a look at this recap from Josh Burgess and Ryan Larson. Ben, what's the reason for the Progressive Dinner? Um, well, first, it's really yummy and it's fun. We eat food and never mind, John's mad. <laughs> okay. Yummy's not the right word. Okay, so what do you, like, what's the plan for tonight? What are we going to do? Well, first we go to, we meet up at school and then we go to the five houses in a different rotation from all the other groups. And we all go to Michael Hastings' house and we enjoy this Progressive Dinner and thank to the Hobuses for hosting this, and I pray that everyone will be safe for all the other events in Jesus' name, amen. Yes, you, sir. No, sir. Not Who's the answer? Uh, Tosser. Who's the answer? Yes, you, sir. Who's the answer? Who's the answer? No, sir. Who's the answer? There's six in the end of the room. Thank you, Josh and Ryan, for that fun recap. We hope. We hope who all attended had a great time and we would love to encourage those who haven't attended before to come out next year and years to come. Finally, let's catch up on sports. Both the girls and boys basketball team were in action last night for their second games of the year. The boys improved to 2-0 on the year as they took down fair in convincing fashion by a score of 96-67. to The Mustangs had 10 different players score in the game and were led in scoring by Julian Caven and Hakim Daniels who both finished with 19 points. Unfortunately, the Lady Mustangs fell to an 0-2 on the season after facing another ranked opponent. They fell by a score of 81-71 to the Class 3A third-ranked team, Matamidi. Jacqueline Jarnot led the team with 16 points and also tallied her 1,000th career point at MCA. Congratulations, Jacqueline. With the basketball seasons getting underway this week, now is a perfect time to preview the upcoming years for both teams. Let's take a look at the, this preview from our very own Josh Elan and Clarence Daniels. City Boys basketball team, Mr. Swaya. I have a few questions for you. Sure, go ahead. How do you feel about this season compared to last season? 
Well, last season, I was the boys' middle school basketball coach. So stepping up and coaching the varsity high school team, I am super excited at the opportunity. What do you look forward to the most this season? I look forward to um, teaching the boys the game of basketball and them learning. Um, I think the greatest joy that a coach has is, or any teacher has, is seeing their um, students learn something and then put it into practice and when it clicks for them and they understand it. Um, that, that is what I look forward to the most with coaching. Um, do you plan to go undefeated? I do not plan to go undefeated. Um, I think if I plan to go undefeated, um, I'd be looking at a team that knows everything that they already need to know, and that's not the case in this situation. And lastly, uh, what do you enjoy most about the program? I enjoy being around the boys. And um, like I said before, watch, what, teaching them and watching them learn. And when they get it and it clicks, that, that's what I enjoy the most about coaching. All right, thank you for your time. You're welcome, thank you. Thanks Josh and Clarence for the season outlook. We are very excited to see what's in store for both teams and we believe that there will be nothing but success as the year goes on. Well that does it for our show today. Again, I'm Josh Ewan. We want to thank you for tuning in today. We look forward to bringing you more MCA news and stories next Friday. And I'm Tugger Burquest. For Josh and myself and for all of the crew, thanks again for watching.